that MPT7210A has a serious fan speed issue. I don't know if I can fix it in this video. Now, I had somebody tell me on the weekend on Monday morning live feed that there's something you can do. And I did check out the link and stuff like that. And you can replace the smoothing capacitors or something in there. But I'm not overly sure whether that's going to fix the problem. So let's have a look at what the actual problem is. I've moved my battery arm up just so I can have a look and check all the configurations and stuff like that for balancing the two massively different packs together. Now this thing is incredibly noisy because I've had the fan, I've done the fan mod. It's got to be up on maximum fan revs for all to have the screen like this. If I turn that off, hold the up button in, and then hit the set button, I can turn the fan all the way down. Now when I turn the fan down and then click OK, the fan goes off and it's nice and quiet. I'll turn it on, and the voltage flickers around and things do crazy shit. As soon as it starts to charge, of course. Now, the fact that it's actually charging itself is bad as well. There we go. 13. Now, then I'll go up to 2 amps. But if you have a look at the 56 point whatever, it's jumping around from 56.97, 55, 56.9, 55. So it's jumping backwards and forwards. And it's charging the battery bank again, even though it's set to 57.4 volts. Now, if I go back to here and click OK to turn it off, hold the up button in for a few seconds, change from brightness to fan speed, and if I turn the fan speed all the way up, click OK to save it, and then click OK again, the voltage sits at 57.42. Whilst we're waiting for that to actually sit there for a minute, we will grab the multimeter and have a look here on the computer screen. And the multimeter voltage of the entire pack is 57.24 volts. Now that 57.2 volts is with my peak meter. There's a voltage difference of about 0.2 a volt, which is not the end of the world as long as you configure around it, so to speak. But you see it's not even charging the batteries. So when the fan's on full, the batteries won't charge because it's saying it's fully charged. It just sits there, it just says that they're okay and they're fully charged and they're good to go. Again, if I change it from, so I turn it off, hold the up button on for a couple of seconds, click on set, change the fan speed to say even half or whatever that is, okay. And then start it again the voltage drop back down to 56.5 volts backwards and forwards in and out and then we'll actually start charging so there is a definite problem with this and now I've had this since the day I bought it well I didn't buy it it was sponsored from Banggood and see that starts charging so apparently if I reflow the board it's going to fix it might fix this problem or if I change the input capacitors or diodes or flux capacitors I don't know what they're called it'll also help so maybe I should pull it off the wall and then we can get to trying to or we can reflow the board and test it again and see how that comes up oh yeah that's still charging so before I go and unplug this I'll go and disconnect it from the roof so it makes it safer throw that switch up the ladder now, if anybody is interested this is the mess that is these four panels that charge the batteries, shade and all. Plenty of rubbish and crap all over them and facing completely the wrong direction. We've got no power, unscrew everything. Right, one side off. I think I may have cross threaded these screws when I put it back together again, all together possible. That plug off. All I did with the fan, just cut the cables and rejoined it again, use the same plug. Fits on there all right, I guess, for the fan mod. Fairly good airflow. From the old interwebs, all this should just slide on straight out. 
There we go. Now I don't know if this is still energized or not, so I will take a little bit of care. Right, visual inspection first because I am like the absolute expert at doing this. Again, be careful, Pete. There's no popped capacitors there. Doesn't look like there's any dodgy solder joints from a very quick look at it. I will have a better look at it in a second. Backside. We've got a slight bit of discoloration up around this end, but that may be from flux. But what I'll do is I'll run the hot air gun and or the soldering iron over all of these tracks and we'll put it back together again and test it again. We've got a little bit of discoloration up here, but again that might just be flux as well. moment we got it too hot Good as new, I reckon. Great little wear wax station, does the job. There we are, I don't think that's going to actually help it, but let's put it back together and give it another try. Again and reinstalled we still have exactly the same problem jumping around a little bit I don't know why it's flashing in and out about 56 is jumping up and down in and out jumped up to 57 just then so we're still not where we need to be so let's turn that off hold that down for a few seconds um, turn the fan all the way up okay and okay Fifty seven point one, so it actually should I think start charging and that is consistent with what the multimeter is saying. Got the multimeter plugged in there. It, but it, the, the the whole thing is it's not stable when that when it when that isn't at a hundred percent. So I wonder if that is in the light up. Okay. Okay, the screen the screen brightness was down a little bit. In real life it wasn't flickering, it was just flickering on the camera. But that is charging again, but it's more stable. That voltage there isn't jumping around, which is the key part. So if I left it with that on half fan speed, it would actually overcharge the batteries. And I'm I'm not sure whether the long ones could actually keep up with that a level of overcharge. So that's probably not safe. Anyway, tubers, that's going to be short called a video. I'm going to let you guys chime in and tell me what you think I need to do to, with that. Like, replace it might be an idea. <laughs> Something that works a little bit better. Look, for the price, they do work okay as long as you understand what you're buying. But would I buy one? Absolutely not. Couldn't recommend it, even though 
it is a product for review. Tubers, thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you on the next one.